My name is Lee Wallace and I work as a development manager at Rivet Games and oversee Atlas Asset Production for producing Root DLC. And now I'm working on asset production for stations and scenery assets in general. One of the stations that I'm going to be working on is picking up Bellinzona and basically finishing off the station with clutter assets and canopies and detail on the platforms. Somebody's already modelled the buildings for Bellinzona. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be working on platform development, which is essentially looking at the Google Earth to see where the platforms lie for the station. And we've also got reference that we took on a, a survey trip. From this and from Google Earth, I can look and I can see exactly where the platforms come in and where they start and stop. And what I've got in 3D Studio Max is I've got an outline of the track that I've imported from the game. So what we usually do to model platforms is we'll trace the outline of the platforms using the track as a guide. So this essentially lofts the platform profile that I want to use along the path that I've outlined for the track. Then you can see how that platform falls within the area that I want within that location. And then what we do is I would texture this and model the rest of the platforms. Then this basically shows how the platforms are created for the station. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to go in later on and clean up the edges uh, around the platforms just to make sure that the texture flows through correctly. So what I do is if I exported this platform model that I've created into the game then I can bring this in and I can check this and I can see if it lines up where I want it to be. So the key things to check is that I've got to make sure that it doesn't clip the buffers around the track that the masts appear on the platform, so they like the gantry mast that we've got here. The other key things I've got to check is I've got to go to the end and make sure signals appear at the end. It's not clipping over the track. Again with this, I've got to make sure the gantries are off. So the next things I'll be doing with this station later on is I'll basically be modelling canopies and putting clutter on the station, bending machines, benches, signage and stuff. We've got a few assets that we use for gauging sizes in the real world. When we're looking at this platform as an empty space, it's sometimes hard to gauge how wide that actually is. So we've got some assets like rulers and we've got a, a wee person as well. Uh, but right away you can check your sizes uh, of your platform. So you can see that's just over seven meters wide. You can see how much room that the player character will have whenever the passengers are walking about the platform by putting in the, the scale human that we've got. We can also use him to check door sizes, window sizes. We've basically got a loading gauge, which is a mock-up of a train that we use to place in the scene. Essentially a chopped out section of a train. But what you've got here is whenever you put this down in the track, then you can see how your catenary heights are working for your wires. You can see how your overhead gantries and bridges are going to fit. So that again, this is useful for whenever you put in your canopies and you're putting in bridges over the train. Then you can make sure with this loading gauge that everything's going to clear the, the wires that you've got. At Bell and Zona, we've not actually added any of the scenery roundabout, we've only placed the station. We've just got the, the start of the trees coming in, so people in level design. I'll be working on populating this with all the urban buildings that I've got in the area. And one of the hurdles we find when we start a new route is basically trying to create that area and that theme and basically the visual look of that area and that region. So obviously being Switzerland and being Alpine then it's really mountainous. You've got a lot of rivers, a lot of iconic bridges, a lot of changes in the height of the terrain across the route. So that brings along its own complications. So what we had to do for this route is we had to create a lot of custom tunnel and bridge assets to support the track at the different heights as it goes between essentially different mountains. And a lot of these custom tunnel portals had to be created as well. A lot of these are unique to Switzerland and the Alpine region. So a lot of this that had to be created for the route was new assets that had to be modelled in 3D, textured and then exported and imported into the game that could be placed in the route. And so we've got these arch bridges that are quite bespoke to the region. So we've had to recreate all these. The chalet style houses and stuff have got to be created. But if I'm flying down the route you can see how unique it does look in terms of Switzerland and how different it is from a lot of the other routes that I've worked on before, like Germany, America and the UK as well. A lot of the other routes have been quite dense urban routes, this is more kind of rural, but it's also got the, the mountainous Alps in the, the background, so it kind of gives a good iconic photographic shot, which is quite good for the, the tourism in the area and stuff. It shows these iconic scenes that a lot of people feature on postcards.